Oh, well, was it me opening? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. oh um, welcome to the episode of Mind Creek. You know who it is? Lee, Twanga, Steven. Um, yeah. There ain't no gun sense. <laughs> was that Mind's Creed? Oh, shit. That's the only gun sense I've ever heard. Mind's Creed. What's that, man? So, what, what, what are you going to say about something about Tinder? Yeah, um, online dating, innit? Let's start talking about Tinder. Yeah, I was Just saying, saying, like, it was, um, as, like, more and more, um, beauty standards change and people become more of, uh, catfishes. Yeah, um, I was cool. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> online dating's also, like, uh, yeah. become more and more popular. So, um, there may or may not be issues around. Oh, there's, there's a lot of issues. Tricks. I was like, you, you don't want to show up to a date expecting someone else and then yeah. a stranger appears in front of you. No, man. What it's like, what do you do? Do you, do you stay for like the, the first cup of coffee? What do you do? Or uh, do you just like... It's a trick, man. Do you just walk away? <laughs> <laughs> and do you pay as well? Ooh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Imagine if it's like 2-1. Like, you expect to pay and see someone else. And then try to buy new Nando's. <laughs> You're not the same girl, okay? Oh, oh man. Alright, Tinder. Um, I used to be against Tinder a lot. I was like, fuck, fuck forget one man dating. That's, that's fake, that's not real. Like, there's no there's no magic to it. There's no, you know, there's no no more normality to it, yeah. should I say. You know, because it's like meeting a girl online versus meeting a girl in real life. It's like, it's way different. It's different. It's definitely different. And I'm not talking about, like, because the normal thing to do is like to meet someone in the club, isn't it? That's the quote unquote normal thing. That's the more popular thing, right? Like, how do you want to meet anyone in like the library or That's yeah. the reason, bro. Why are guys not approaching girls? Like, well, no, right, first of all, when I go to the library, like, I'm, I'm like, yo, I need to get this book, like, bro. Like, that's what guys, oh, guys are like that, like, we're not like, oh, hopefully we find love, and, yeah, like, we're like, okay, shopping. I, I, I grab a book and then ship it to oh, no, the we like, show each other. Shopping, what, this, 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 we get this, this, then we go, then we get safe, like, for clothes, like, we, mm. we, we're not just, we don't browse or anything like that, you know what I mean? So, I think that's the, um... Wait, is that the reason they're not approaching her? Oh, that's like, you know, like, you could be, you could be shopping, you could yeah. be shopping, but there's still girls around, you know? Yeah, man. Maybe the girl that works there is hot, you can be like, hey, do you have this in large mm. or some shit, you know what I mean? I mean, like, really, there's no, there's nothing we've been taught, like, we've mm. we've seen movies, but really no one knows how to. Like, if you find that movie, you're so the way you The movies are for girls, they're for, yeah. oh, yeah. this, is what I, this is what a man would like, and blah, blah, blah. But girls sometimes, sometimes they, um, like something a little bit different to what they say they like. Oh, yeah. So, um... You know what I mean? Like you can't be like, oh, I found you, and I, I found these flowers. Yeah. Like nah, mm mm, nah, <laughs> man. Bro, you ain't no Ryan Gosling. That's what I know. It's not gonna work out for you, kid. So, um, <laughs> it's just not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not. Yeah. What was it we said? This because we've tried it, and then it didn't work out for us. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't like flowers in there, yeah. but like I'll send some sweet stuff and then yeah, some, some, sweet, 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 sugar stuff. some sugar stuff, man. Yeah. And um, mm, yeah, luck with that. Work out. <laughs> we're, we're awakening, man. We're rude awakening. Well, yeah, we don't know. Um, yeah. So it's like, yo, know, we have to walk over the whole, like across the whole room in front of everyone. Uh, like we don't know this person or where they are. Like they're, they're. That little brother could have like died or something like that, and we're yeah. just like, ah, oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> we had that shoe, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's not that. Or even if it's something nice, like, ah, oh, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel nice, um, I just want to get annoyed or something like that. Like, it's still risky, man, yo. You, That's the thing, yeah. Rejection is, it's, I'd say rejection is death by a thousand cuts. Of course, on its own, rejection is nothing, and, oh, yeah, you should, you should. Like not care about rejection so much, but if you get rejected like thousands and loads and loads and loads of times, and in so, yeah, you will lose. <laughs> you will lose. That's what happens. You will turn into them, man. You will like eventually your confidence will eventually grow, will go away. Yeah. Maybe look at the wrong women, though. See, that's the thing. It's not even the wrong women. If you've been rejected a thousand times, yo, yeah, I'm not so, like, oh, I was not surprised. Like, what's the common denominator? So you sort of bring that mindset. With you, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Last before you got to it. Yeah, they need to stop. They need to stop. Like they need to just focus on themselves, man. 
because um, you stop trying to like do all that stuff because more of rejection will turn you into more of a, a psychopath or incel. It'll make you more bitter for sure. It'll yeah, make you bitter, you know. It'll make you resentful of women, you know. Yeah, I think that's why. I think that's one of the thing, the reasons why women don't approach men because they're also scared about rejection. Yeah, yeah. Man. I mean, gender equality. Like, come on. Mm. If you really want gender equality, you know, yeah, you're gonna have to approach men. The, the but I mean, it's weird though. Like, huh? have you ever been approached by a girl? Yeah, I mean, like, it's weird though. Like, what was it like? I felt like I was being catfished again. Or being <laughs> cut on it. I mean, but it was real life. Like, yeah, that's the thing though. Like, even in real life, it feels weird because you feel like you're the one who's supposed to be approaching her. Hmm. Cause then you feel like you're on camera or something like you know, oh. is Ashton Kutcher gonna pop up from this bush or something? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah. You think that? Mm. I mean, I know what you mean because ugh, sometimes girls, cause they're not used to it. Sometimes yeah. girls don't know how to be the pursuer. Like it's happened to yeah, me once, yeah. uh, well, twice. That I'm about to say it's happened more times than twice, but still, one time mm-hmm. the girl came up to me and I was like. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, I think you're attractive. And I was like, oh, thanks. Um, and she said something about my complexion. And then she stopped. And I was like, yeah, go on. And then she looked. And then I was like, so are you okay? <laughs> so then she, I had to, like, I had to, like, you know, take the lead. Take the, yeah, I was like, yeah. mm, now, now it's awkward because you don't know how to talk to a guy. That's the thing. As a guy, you're supposed to lead the conversation, isn't it? Yeah. Like if you're, if you're, let's say, if you do approach a girl, you say hi and then you carry on the conversation, you keep it going until maybe she's interested and then you she starts to invest more as well, isn't it? Yeah. But I think that beginning bit is kind of hard. Yeah. So for for some like, guys and for uh, girls. For girls I guess. Yeah. Well there was one girl that um she actually had like she knew what she was doing, she was just calm and she was yeah. like funny. And because we were both weird, we were able to like bounce with each other and then I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like she wasn't like trying too much. So it is possible man. It is possible. Mm-hmm. I don't think girls are the one though for it. Like when we mm-hmm. were at Halloween night and that girl came up to me, kind of started to say something, I'm like, yeah, bro, I couldn't hear a thing. Yeah. She <laughs> was like, she was like, she was like, no, 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 like, no, yeah, I was like, spit on your ear and everything. Like, oh, it's bad, bad. It's yeah, that's bad. That's the one thing I hate about classes where you can't really talk to girls. That's why you need to, well, you can't really. You have to be shouting, man. You have to be shouting all the time. I need the bathroom. I need the bathroom. I need the bathroom. I need the bathroom. Yeah, it's too much. What about Tinder? What, do you have any Tinder lines? Tinder lines? Do you even use the lines? <laughs> Pick up lines. Uh, yeah. Tinder lines? Oh. Not really. Um, Do you use Tinder? I have used Tinder. Not anymore? I'm not really looking for anything anymore, to be honest. Okay. Um, but... <sighs> so now, I just, I, with Tinder, I just like... I've, I've started doing this complete, like, radical honesty thing where I just... do a hundred percent. me. Like, for example, like, like, a few years ago, like five years ago, maybe, I thought, like, being into, like, games, anime, being... Um, into all this like like wrestling and all this mm-hmm. kind of like geeky and out there stuff uh, would be like oh no girls don't like that girls don't like that so, so now but nowadays I'd like to she put that on I've got like a cosplay thing of you know the, the Akatsuki yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yo that's the first that's the first that Halloween huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well that's last year's Halloween oh, well, I put that on my first um, profile thing mm-hmm. and um, um, yeah I still got like matches yeah. and the, ma- the crazy thing is um uh, like I, I spoke to this girl, and then I said something, but I put the you know the eye face, those eyes, and yeah. looking the wrong way, looking that right way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, say something. Like, mm, yeah. Yeah, 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 and then uh, she put um, oh no, the pervy sage eyes or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because there's like um a reference to Naruto. Yeah. Because Naruto's eyes oh, yeah, yeah. called pervy sage, and I was like. <laughs> so I mean, I like attracted girls that yeah. were my type anyway. Yeah, just because I was completely honest about what I like and black like, was. Mm. So it just became easier. So, so that, that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, do you pick up lines, man? Oi. I think, yeah, like... If I do, I do the cheesiest ones because... <laughs> I mean, if, if, I, if, I, yeah, if I do... Like what? Give us one. 
Oh god. Uh, oh god. You put me on the spot here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. You got one stronger. Ah. Uh, you really know, man. Is your dad a thief? Because he stole the stars and put them in your eyes. Jesus. Damn. Oh, wait. That's massive. That's some shit. <laughs> oh, that one was sick. Write that one down. Oh. Uh, let me try to think why, okay. I say, yo, what's up? I'm gonna make him a wife. Da, da, da. Do the shifty eyes. And then when I say, la, la, ha, 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 and I say, I say like, nah, I'm not joking, I have to afford to wife you based on looks. And then it just goes on from there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna make him a wife. I've tried that one. It's oh, right, I've got a good one. Um, I basically say, uh, hi, uh, does this class smell like chloroform? <laughs> <laughs> attract the wrong people it's because they were not being themselves in it we talk about that's, yeah, that's definitely mm-hmm. one big side of it and they're thinking about those sort of people they don't even that, that aren't even them type they're thinking mm-hmm. what, what are the people who are any bit more type going to think of this if I'm being that yeah yeah, yeah. Your type? Oh, yeah I used to think that way as well like I would only go for Same. girls that my peer group would approve of as well yeah that's some deadness that is that sort of shit man no, yeah. because no, they're thinking, eh, if I, like, I like this girl, but she's not good looking, so they might make fun of me. Oh, that's like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's childish. It's, it, I feel, oh. Do you think that's something to do with like, being a man? Like, being. I think so, you know, liking, like, liking the fact that other people like are attracted to the girl. Yeah. Or something like that. And that's, and that's where trophy wife comes in. Yeah, that's the attraction of the wife. You know what I mean? Because well, yeah. if all your friends are like, oh, your girl's ugly, or yeah. something like that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, is she dating you? I don't think so. But if they're all fancy, yeah, I don't know, man. There could be some yeah. stuff going on there. I don't know, oh, man. My, um, then she's more of a, like, no. Uh, uh. Yeah, I uh, I used to do what you do. Um, mm. Well, what I used to do. Well, what you used to do. Let's do what you do. What's the tea? Uh, no, um, yeah, I stopped, and uh, as soon as I stopped, um, I like naturally filter out girls that are bad for me. Yeah. Um, like I don't like I get don't get past the talking stage. We don't like go to a proper like dates because. Most of the girls that I like that like like are my type. Yeah. Um, end up they're the type that needs. I don't know if it's daddy issues, but they're the type that mm. needs a fight. Oh, uh, I mean, they need turmoil. turmoil. They need yeah, turmoil. turmoil. They need um. They need their emotions to be played with. Yeah, they man. They need to be. They need. They need an abusive yeah. guy, basically. Yeah, that's. They right. need an abusive guy. They need to um that be like issues. put in their place, and they need to make some work. And what they say is, what they say is like, oh, I need a dominant guy, blah 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 blah. Mm. I need a dominant guy, and like we are, I argue with them because the way my temper is, like I don't have like a temper where it's like. Um, oh yeah, okay, we're getting argued. We're talking about something now. Yeah, yeah, we're getting argued yeah, now. Yeah, my temper, like, stays like that for ages. Mm. And like, even if you like being like mean to me, I'll, I'll still be like this. And then one day I'll just flip. And then, oh shit! Oh, when, yeah. when I flip, it's not like oh we're gonna argue flip. It's you, you're you're a psycho. You're unstable. Like okay, mm. I can't like bye. And that's happened, you know. And I'm sorry, it doesn't. Like my, it's not it's not cute or uh, oh my god he's angry it's kind of sexy for yeah. me it's it's like you know what I mean it's implosive anger not mm. explosive anger mm. so That's dangerous man. yeah that girl that type of girl doesn't really work out for me I don't know. so but luckily um, I get girls that like the female version of me like nice and they don't they don't need to feed off so there's a lot of like as well yeah. yeah man when you kind of attract them girls mm. yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a good thing you went through that as well because now you know what you don't do. like in it. Yeah, man. Why? You wouldn't know the red flag to me and go through that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, and I forgot married and she told oh, me. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, that would be the worst. I think that, that was one of the the masks of femininity as well. Mm. Oh, like, you know, yeah, yeah. Like the girl that's that needs the drama in her life. Oh, that's got the daddy issues and all that. Oh, that's funny how I said that. Yeah, I said that then. I'm not sure. 
we're going to be coming up with that soon. We did a book review on the mask of masculinity, but we haven't found a book on the mask of femininity, and so we're just going to come up with our own ones and then do it, do that for a part of the year. Do you think there's anything as as a micro cheating? Let me give you a story. So like, you've had, you've you've known this girl. You spoke to her a few times. She's come down to you on the train and that. Uh, you went to both for a long time, she's got a boyfriend and then she's messaged you out with blue. Uh, how, how are you doing? Hope you're well with like a kiss and all that. Would you say that's micro cheating? Is there such thing as micro cheating? What, what do you guys think? I don't know if that's cheating. Well, what's the relationship but between you and the girl? We had a little thing before she's she... come to see me and she's with a boyfriend now. Like, and then give it some time, she's been with a guy. Yeah. Then she messaged me out the blue, like saying like, "What is that?" I don't know what. Where she messages? That's what I'm saying. Like, I she, don't know. She if, 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 she, she, if she's messaging something that could lead to something else, to me, that's, why are you messaging this man? I would say that's my chair. To me, yeah, to me, if we've had a little thing before and I'm with you and then mm. you're messaging a guy you've had a thing with before with that little kiss and all that, it's just saying, "How are you doing?" To me, that's like, "Why are you doing?" How are you doing? But why she's just gonna be? Friendly. That'd be her excuse, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think we're yeah. thinking about it in a completely like a, a man way because I feel like if a yeah, girl was yeah. here, a mm. girl would be like, um, because you know how sometimes, sometimes some, mm. a few, a small percentage of girls, of girls, <laughs> um, they keep guys around. So yeah, they talk, and they talk all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah man, he doesn't have words for it, man. Yeah, yeah. They're actually, male, male validation, yeah. yeah. validation. They, they're friends, they, yeah. they kind of like, like they get off on a yeah. oh, yeah. So sometimes girls, and and technically, physically, that's not cheating. And sometimes girls, they they do do that. And mm. I would love to have like a female opinion on um mm. why they do that. Do you know what I mean? Because as men, I would never, bro. Is it yeah, they want more attention. Because, because the whole life they've been told they need validation and stuff from things outside themselves, oh, like oh, makeup, damn. their body looking good and that kind of oh, stuff. Man. So they haven't got it inside themselves yet. That's why they have to still have it from these bail mate, or these, I don't want to say betas anymore, yeah. from these orbiters, yeah, as well as a boyfriend, just from what man it or not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that the it's like, uh, so it's the backups. Yeah. The backup. Really? They want it just in case. It's called the monkey branching yeah. as well. Is that why do you think, you know, have you heard of uh, Aisha Curry's yeah, situation? Yeah, yeah, is that yeah. why? Is that what it is? Well, that's what I'm guessing it is. What else would it be? I don't know with her. I think, I think that's what it is, you know? Because like, at the moment, the way she's looking at it is that she's not getting enough male attention, eh? She's got, she's got a great guy. She's got a great guy. Steph Curry. It's like probably one of the higher yeah. sexual market value right? right. could have. For real, man. Higher like, basketball is the higher rappers. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah for real, man. For real. Like, and I don't know. I think it's definitely what you said. Like, people don't want attention. In it. Like, she's not getting enough attention now that like, she's like, she's a mom. And does she even do anything on the side? I'm sure she goes on like, TV. I think she's got like a, her own side business doing something. I can't remember. Yeah. I don't know. That, that was different though. Her reasoning was like, oh yeah. All girls give Steph Curry attention, but they don't give me attention. Mm. What? What? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Like, oh, like he's getting people attention, but I'm not getting male attention. That type of thing. So oh, makes it right. It's an enigma. Uh, uh, whatever, you know. It's, I don't know, however. It's a weird one. It's, it's a, a weird, weird one. one. You're just looking for things outside of yourself when it's inside yourself, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like most women are on that sort of finding that validation from inside themselves. It's so much easier to just put a filter on, put some makeup on, upload a picture and get some likes and ego yeah, boost from yeah. some thirsty ass guys and fake women and be like, oh you look beautiful babe, but really she's like, look at that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I have a theory about that as well. I think guys are better friends for each other than girls are to each other. Mm. Not all the time, I don't, but whatever. Go on, why? Because, like you said, like they'll be, ah, I don't know, maybe it depends on the person, but there's a lot of fakeness with girls. They're not willing to be honest enough with each other. Mm. Like, they'll lie, like say, oh yeah, you look great in that dress, you, I don't know, like your man's great. Like, they, they, they will be trying, like, 
They'll try to go for another girl's man, but still pre- pretend to be her friend. Yeah, I'm not saying. I don't know. If, I don't know. Like, many guys do that as well. But I don't know about that, but that's fake. Like, oh fuck! I got fast and I say. So fake, fake friendship, sir. That's why, like most girls here, yeah, this is what I find. Like most, some girls here, yeah, some girls only have guy friends because they don't trust women. Could be, could be true. Mm. Well, it could be an excuse because you know, say Tom is free me or Tom, like you said, isn't it? Just free me or this, or that, then you, I get, I get some attention from this. This guy who take me out here, but we're just friends. Well, oh, yeah. I don't believe in that. <laughs> Can you remember I kept blocking Steven? Oh, yeah, that reminds me of that. Have um, you seen the meme for like, the long hair? And the guy's just like this. What? <laughs> 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 yes, it, it, it. <laughs> no? Yeah. Sounds funny. Uh, but no, uh, I know it's. So you're talking about um, guys that get labeled as free meal. Like, say yeah, it. Yeah. 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 It's not free Chinese. It's, it's back up. It's back up, dick. Just in um, case my guy goes. No. What 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 brought it about was we were talking about um, uh, paying for every single girl. On yeah, first date that. straight away. Oh, first date things. And then okay. um, saying, oh, eventually you'll end up as like free. How would you know you're not going to end up as free Chinese? You know what I mean? Right. Because it's, it's, it's the catfish. When she friends on you, isn't it? That's when you end up as. She, sad, she, sad. she ain't got the attraction for you yet, so she's mm. going to try um, see what she can push and get. Because like. Let's say you meet a girl, yeah. If she likes you, she's gonna come around and fuck you. If she mm. if she don't like this guy as much, she's gonna get a free meal out of him or something like that. Her mind always change, just go up and down, depending on the individual. Yeah. But I don't believe in paying on the first date. I think that's some fuckery. Yeah. Also, so do you guys? So you said no. No. What about you? Do you believe in paying on the yeah. first date at all times? Why? <laughs> Not at all times, and it depends. Again, like. My second last day, the girl paid for everything. We got some bubble tea. Okay. She paid for everything. Okay. So I didn't pay for anything. Bubble tea? Mm, yeah, bubble tea. Cool. Right? Yeah. My other day, I paid for half. And I've paid for like the whole debt before as well. Okay, well so well. it just it depends how much I like the girl. If I if me and her like are clicking, yeah. Clicking clicking, then I I own mind saying something like, okay, I'll pay for the first round and then you pay for the next round. Yeah. And do all that, right? Oh, we can go houses. Yeah, that's always right. So, what will be the requirements for you to pay for a girl on the first day? And what will be the requirements Jeez. for you not to pay for a girl on the first day? I wouldn't pay if she's expecting me to pay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, wait. Why would you? That was a turn off. Sorry, sorry, it man. Is. Wait, I, I, I'm not, guys are like, oh no, it's a turn off. Wait, it is, wait, it is not like it's not a good look. It's mm-hmm. not a good look. Mm-hmm. She's there, like, oh yeah, you gotta pay for me, like. When I pay for it, well, like, that's kind of like as if you're a prostitute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. It's, it's a form of escort and stuff. It really is. Ooh, yeah. yeah, it's a form of escort. I have to get to know the woman, and I, and I gotta wait till that mask falls off because, mm. you know, the art of seduction is bare manipulation. Yeah. She's very yeah. fake being this one person. So I have to wait, I have to really get to know her. And we'll be doing action dates, we'll be doing old dinner dates, and nothing like that. And we're paying yeah. arts. And if you've got a problem with that, then you ain't the girl of mine. Because I'm already setting it from the start. I'm going to be your protector, your provider. I'm going to be paying for you like you're some kid. I don't think so. Mm. I'm, by, by, by me saying you're paying half as well, I'm saying I respect you as an independent woman yourself. And we can both pay half. And another thing, I think men who pay for on the first day, it's kind of like saying, oh, I, I haven't got the belief in myself. I don't believe I'm good enough on my own. As, a, yeah. as an individual on my chat and my talk and my charisma, oh. I don't think that's good enough, so I have to Damn. put on some material things, so I have to give you these material. Bro, you're not an escort, I'm respecting you as a, as a human being here. Mm. Yeah. So we're, we're paying us. So, yeah. mm. so like, I'll, I'll, like, right, we'll come. Yeah. yeah. And I'll treat you if I get yeah. to know you proper. So, yeah, and then, so for, just to go back to the question again, like, so I'll pay on the debt if. If, again, if me and her are really vibing properly and I can see something, like I can see us hanging out again out after this debt, then I'll pay because then, like, I'm more invested, she's invested as well, then we're both on the same page. Like, then I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll pay. But not as in, again, it depends. Like, if, if it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take you to my favorite place, or if it's something like that, then, yeah. then I'll pay. So what, I, I thought it's so expensive as well. If it's like <laughs> fucking, you know, let's just But like, oh, let's play the devil's advocate here. All right, yeah. so 
because there are loads of guys that will that have like zero tolerance for not for letting a girl do anything or take them out on white so they'll be like I am definitely paying yeah. it's offensive if you pay um, white knights and they say this they say uh, it's traditional and that they were um, mm. raised up that way yeah. um, you see that's the thing with those guys here they think because they're traditional they think the girls are also going to be traditional uh, yeah so cool she's going to say she's traditional if you're buying her a meal Oh, yeah, traditional. Yeah, 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 um, I want it to be flat romantic and be like, I want to literally take you to this place and take you out to this specific place because blah 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 whatever. But the reason why I uh, <clears throat> don't really or haven't really done that is because of the way I approach dates and the way I end up going on dates. I literally um, don't really ask girls out. Like I. We get to know each other. That. We literally get to know each other for like ages, yeah. and then we are both like, we should do something together. Yeah, yeah. Like she comes well, up to me. So you 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 start off as friends, and then you move on to. Oh well, no! I don't even see it as friends. No, no it doesn't friends. even have to be friendship. Oh, like okay. we literally we spoke we, with Vibe and we were um, having fun, and we were like, oh my god, like I like this guy so much, I like this girl so much, like we should like do something yeah. together, and we should meet up and blah 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 have mm. fun and then from that because we're both coming we're meeting each other halfway mm. like she doesn't think oh he uh yeah he better if you're taking me out you better pay for my time because right. she's like oh, i like you oh, yeah. I'm, I'm nervous to come meet you I, I i hope you like me too right yeah we're gonna like meet halfway and it's me thinking the same thing like yeah i'm coming to meet this girl because i like her she likes me but if mm. if it's all way around if she's like uh yeah I'm not really look. I'm not really feeling this guy too much, but I'm gonna ask you out on a date and and yeah. Um, if I'm the guy asking out on a date, then I understand why guys are like, oh, you're, you're, I'm the gentleman, so I have yeah. to. Like, you're but it's yeah. So some guys like meet halfway. Some guys just ask so, the girl yeah. out. So I feel like that's where the divide is in guys that think, why am I gonna pay for your time? What do you mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm. I said this with my other friends. So they should try like. Yeah, you're a prize, but I'm a prize too. Really? Yeah. I'm a prize too, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, See, I think we, 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 we have different expectations for each other, and we don't realize that the other person has different expectations. Yeah. Again, like we, like some, some guys again want a traditional girl, but again, like it depends in which way they want a girl to be traditional, right? Because yeah. a girl doesn't want to be all traditional. Now they're, you know, they're, Independent now, innit? They've got their own, yeah, yeah, their yeah. own jobs. Yeah, yeah. But for, for the girls who've got one foot in the 1940s and one foot in 2019, it's not worth it. You can't pick and choose, man. Oi. Like, that's that's not, there's a lot of picking and choosing, man. Um, there's a lot of picking and choosing. Yeah, if you end up uh, just saying, I'm going to pay for this, I'll, I'll pay for you, I'll do this, you yeah. will end up as free Chinese. Trust me. Saved in free the world as free Chinese. It's happened. I know people that's happened to me. <laughs> Uh, you get caught out, yes, she accidentally gets a phone ring in. And I think it's a little bit deeper also because the woman, the, the, I would bet there's a lot of like faking, oh shit man, we're, we're close to the end. There's a lot of faking high value as well. Mm. So you have to actually be the prize and working towards creating a prize, not just saying, oh I'm a queen because I've got big ass and tits and all that shit. That's, yeah. that's a lot of bollocks. Yeah. What else was I going to say? There's something else I was going to say. What happened to you, oh, Damn, I can't remember. Uh, we can just close it off and then move yeah. on to the masks. No, uh, no, save the masks for another one. We're going to do more research on that. Well, girls, don't, don't expect the man because oi, ninety percent of the time, unless the guys are, are full, it's a turn off. Yeah, real talk. Just be honest. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>